I shoot a lot of golf, about anywhere from 20 to 25 golf events a year. Plus, my son plays golf. He's 15 years old. So I have about five or six things that, that might help you take better golf pictures. It always helps if you want to get close to the action and stop the action. It helps to have a long lens. Minimum, I like to use a 70 to 200. That's probably my favorite lens. It's a 2.8 lens uh, that gives me a little bit of extra light as well. That way uh, I can have a very shallow depth of field, kind of blow out the whole background. It makes it look really nice. The motor drive, you know, I lay on my motor drive to try to always, not always, but at times try to get the ball in the picture. So a long lens always helps and uh, quick motor drive also helps shoot in the shade you can't dictate whether or not you shoot on a sunny day or a cloudy day a cloudy day is much nicer than a sunny day you, you can't decide what you're going to shoot and if I like to shoot if, if it's a very sunny day and I want an even exposure I'll wait till the, the, the golfer is in the shade or if he's not in the shade um, I'll, I will shoot a shot to where the golfer, his back is to the sun. That way their face is in the shade. I'll give an example of a nice, nice, nice even exposures. Today is a very cloudy day, nice, nice even exposures. I'm gonna do a 360 degree turn and you'll notice that the exposure doesn't change on my face whatsoever because it's cloudy and it's basically a big old soft box. And so if you want even exposures, uh, shoot in the shade or shoot the golfer with their back to the sun. A good action shot doesn't necessarily have to have the ball in it. As, as the golfer is following through on their tee shot, if it's a right-handed golfer, you would, you would get a little bit to their left, about 15 feet out in front of them somewhat. And as, they as they're following through, they, they pretty much turn their face right towards you. And a lot of times you can frame up their face with the golf club, and that's a very nice picture. So if it's a left-handed golfer, you would get a little bit to the right, about 15 to 20 feet. If it's a left -hand, uh, right-handed golfer, a little bit to the left, left-handed golfer, a little bit to the right. And they tee off 18 times, so you should be able to get a couple of really nice pictures of them following through and looking down, looking down the fairway towards the ball. Get in timing you have to learn golfers don't like especially like professional or high school or uh, college golfers they don't like you um, to hear the, the the banging of the shutter just before they hit the golf ball so you have to learn what works for you uh, I hit my shutter to get them just after striking the ball and the ball in the air just as I see that they're they have that club right about there so if I hit the shutter with on their way back down uh, with my finger in the way that my particular camera works and my shutter speed that works out really nice of them uh, just after they hit the ball and if I'm in front of them a little bit I can usually get about anywhere from one to three frames of the ball uh, in the frame look for higher angles or lower angles extremely uphill and extremely downhill that can give you some opportunities to take some really nice pictures uh, if you're at a lower angle um, you can almost get in front of the golfer and they won't necessarily even see you and you also want to use what the golf golf course gives you to be safe and to give you cover to where the golfer can't necessarily can't necessarily see you and you won't necessarily lesser a chance of, of you getting hit by a golf ball. So I use trees to get right in front of, uh, kind of like peer around trees to take pictures, or I'll use the golf cart. I will park the cart and get sit actually on the floor with my feet off of the, on the ground and use the golf cart for cover. So I hope that helps you. Good luck. Thanks for watching.